Do you want to sit in your chair or on the I, couch in there? No, I have to sit in my chair. Okay. I don't think Tammy thinks that it's going to help her very much. I think the only reason why Tammy is going to see the therapist is she has to do it to be cleared for surgery. She doesn't really want to go. Hi, Tammy. I can't get through there. Okay. Where do you want to go with it? Okay, you just walk out. I got it. Well, it's not locked. <laughs> I go. Okay. <coughs> Tammy, There's can, not you, much room in can here. you close that door? It's not going to close with a wheelchair. And I can't sit in the couch. That's what the well thought out. Um, I'm gonna have to close the door, okay? What I'm telling you is I gotta catch my breath before I can stand back up. So I just got to the therapist office, but it's small. And I'm really uncomfortable, mad, embarrassed. It's complete. I'm ready to go home. If you can just move this over here just a little bit, because she's not gonna sit on there. There we go. Yeah, perfect. That way maybe we can move her in. So our first time meeting is typically what we call an intake session, and it's really more like a Q&A. It's an opportunity for me to just kind of ask her some questions and get to know her a little bit and to understand the reason why she struggles with food addiction. I really want to connect. I really want to establish a rapport with her. All right, good morning, Tammy. Um, welcome, thank you for showing up today. Um, tell me what brings you to therapy? Food addiction. Okay. So when did this start? All oh, right. Okay. Um, do you tend to eat more, like maybe in the evenings? Uh, do you tend to eat more when you're bored? Clearly, all the time. Okay. Okay. Tammy, how do you feel when you eat? You look like you're scowling at me, like you don't want to be here. Yeah. How are you feeling right now, Tammy? I, I don't know what that means. I don't talk about it. Okay, okay. I do need you to kind of answer some questions for me, okay? I haven't. Okay. Um, I'm not saying you haven't. I'm just saying I, I need you to be a little bit more cooperative if that's possible, okay? I'm not comfortable, I'm not going to talk. Well, a lot of times when I deal with individuals who have some type of an addiction, often it's because they're struggling with something internally, and that's the best coping that they can find at that time. Maybe you've used food to kind of cope with some stuff that you're struggling with. My first impression is that Tammy is very reserved. My goals for Tammy is for her to accept, validate, acknowledge her reasons for eating more than what she should. She knows the reasons, but she's afraid to tell me. She's afraid to tell herself the reasons. But you've been in therapy before, right? Okay. Did you find therapy to be helpful the last time you were in? Okay. How come? I mean, technically, the last therapy appointment I had was with my sister. Mm -hmm. And we butt heads, so mm -hmm. it was just, I, I shut down. So how is she going to hold the baby and walk at the same time? That's a very good question. You're not stable enough. Don't sit there and make me out to be the bad I'm guy. I'm not the bad guy. I'm just trying to say. Whatever. Sometimes you are. This is why I shut down and stop talking. Do you tend to do that often, Tammy, shutting down? Yeah. Okay. To me, it's my way of not fighting or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
Tammy, in general, how is your mood? I try to stay positive. And okay. Only when I'm not feeling good or yeah. hurting real bad. Gotcha. When, okay. When I start getting snappy. Okay. How about becoming easily annoyed or irritable? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's good. Because it's true? <laughs> Probably. Okay. So, what are some weaknesses? Some things that you can kind of work on? Confidence. Confidence. Do you struggle a lot with that? Yeah. Okay. Are you nervous that people are going to judge you and... Oh, yeah. Okay. I do anyways. I mean, I, I do care what people think, but then, then again, I really don't. At the end of the day, it's, what matters is what I think and my boyfriend, so... That's a great attitude, but sometimes it's harder to, to kind of practice believe that, right? Yes. Yeah, excellent. Okay. okay. That's what I'm working on is believing. Okay. That, you know, I am cuter, I am prettier. Yeah. Just believing it. Okay. Believing in yourself, yeah. That's really hard work, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What is your goal? To get down to 550, so I'm going to weight loss surgery. Okay. Is that something that you think you could probably do it, or are you like, gosh, that's a huge mountain, I'm not sure I could climb? I can do it. You can do it? Okay. Um, I'm not hearing a lot of confidence in that. Mm -hmm. uh, Tammy, what are your thoughts about the session thus far? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what that means, so you're going to have to verbalize I don't it. Have any thoughts. Okay. There's no thoughts about the things that we talked about today. Okay. I never want to um, force anyone into therapy. What are your thoughts, Tammy, about maybe coming back to see me? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not sensing a lot of motivation or commitment on your part. What are your thoughts as you hear me say that? Because as I was listening to you and kind of watching you, um, I wasn't getting a lot of information from you. As our session progressed... It takes a while for me to open up. Exactly. And I was just going to say, as our session progressed, you did open up a little bit. I think underneath all of this stuff, I think there's a, somebody who's really hurt. That's just, that's just my, my impression right now. It's true. Do you feel like that's something you would explore with the therapist? I just want to leave it alone.